Welcome to my channel, Narc Delusion. My name is Nicole. On this channel, we focus on all things narcissism. Please comment, like, share, and subscribe. In this video, we're going to talk about the Narc Funhouse and the Flying Monkeys. The term Flying Monkeys came from the Wizard of Oz. The Wicked Witch of the West had flying monkeys do their dirty work. The flying monkeys do the bidding of the narcissist. These are the people that need to find a group to belong to, they want to belong, or the flying monkey also wants to elevate their status. The flying monkey might also not want to deny the narcissist for one reason or another. They might be afraid of the narcissist. The flying monkey would rather not become the target of the narcissist. It's better someone else than them. The flying monkey can also be a narcissist. The narcissist and the flying monkeys, they could be anybody. They could be people that you meet new people that you meet and these days you exchange your social media accounts it can be someone that gets upset that you were dating or someone that you just met it could be your relatives and it could be long lost relatives that show up and are looking to belong to a group you will notice that they will start spying on you that they will be following you around and trying to find out what you're doing they start stalking you. They want to be able to report it to the narcissist. This video will explain why it is important to keep the evil narcissist out of your social media. You would find yourself invaded by spies and you will find yourself a victim of gang stalking. When you go no contact, you will get a lot of strange requests from people that you don't know. The narcissists and the flying monkeys will create fake profiles and they will want to keep stalking you. The Narc Funhouse is where the flying monkeys go around in circles, waiting like vultures. The narcissist wants to trap the victim in their funhouse. The narcissist wants to keep the laughs going by devaluing the discarded primary. While the narcissist is devaluing the victim, belittling any efforts, forcing their delusions onto others, and doing the smear campaign, evil narcissists now feels very empowered. Now they are flying high on top of the world. In their mind, the cheap petty evilness becomes legitimate power. The arrogant and egotistical narcissists want to believe their own hype. The narcissist is having so much fun coordinating and controlling all the movements in the funhouse. There are thrilling activities, fantasy shows. The flying monkeys are cheering on the displays of the narcissist's clown. There are also lots of competitive games, and best of all, the grand prize, future faking. The narcissist flying high like an acrobat, soaring above, branching from trapeze to trapeze. The narc is still in the funhouse, amused by all the funhouse mirrors. The flying monkeys are circling around for a chance to get in on the fun and the games. The narcissist is putting on a fantastic show, audience, and the flying monkeys. Has this ever happened to you? Has a narcissist ever tried to lock you in the narc funhouse? When the primary supply left the building, the narcissist and the flying monkeys were still whooping it up. When you first go no contact, it takes a while for the delusional narc to catch up. The narcissist is so sure that the Hoover attempts will work again. Like a trained monkey, the narcissist keeps pushing the levers again and again. 
still not getting it. The narcissist will try a number of different tactics. When the first one doesn't work, they have a few more tricks up their sleeve. Even years later, they keep trying to hoover the victim back in the narc funhouse. But the MPV has long left the building. The construct is collapsing as the narcissist runs low on fuel. As time goes by, they are out of gas. Finally, the narcissist is eventually lifted out of their delusional fog. The bottomless narc is now back to being on empty again. The mass is cracked. The meat suit is fragmented. The smoke is gone. And the cracked funhouse mirrors is the only thing they have. The narcissist doesn't want to be in the broken down, dark and dusty funhouse by themselves. The game is long over. The narcissist is depressed and in a worse state than before. The narcissist has even less to give and they are left out there with nothing. No primary, no fuel. The flying monkeys were just getting crumbs. The narcissist has nothing to give because they had nothing to begin with. The primary supply was left on the side of the road with the delusional narcissist believing that they can maintain all the fun and all the games. The narcissist is alone in their delusional funhouse and cracked, fractured mirrors. The narcissist is still watching. The flying monkeys are still watching. The carnival music stopped a long time ago. The narcissist is still waiting for someone, for anyone, to show up with some fuel. The narcissist is checking on the daily. The fun has stopped. The movie is over. The narcissist is waiting for their next victim to go on the demented carousel once again. The narcissist loves social media. This is where they get attention when they are running low on supply. This is also how they play people against each other. Has this ever happened to you? Has a narcissist ever tried to lock you in the narc funhouse? What's your experience with flying monkeys? Please comment, like, share, and subscribe.